So hello everyone. My name is Blip Kanatop and uh, I work as business development manager in Integros and I'm really excited to welcome you to our webinar. Today we will talk about such crucial topics uh, for both sales and marketing reps as uh, email automation marketing tools and uh, seamless customer experience and of course how to connect these two controversial concepts. Firstly, I would like to introduce you my dear colleague Kirilla, our CRM consultant, uh, who will be presenting in a while. I want to assure you that our webinar will take approximately 20 or 25 minutes, and you are welcome to ask your questions during the webinar uh, by using the relevant box, of course, on the right side. If any technical issues, you may use chat box also on the right side. Uh, for those uh, who joined us for, for the very first time, I would like to say a few words about Integros. Uh, we are an advanced sugar CRM partner in Eastern Europe, and we develop various uh, instruments and solutions to boost sugar CRM efficiency. Integros delivers complex CRM implementation projects of best quality and on time. According to Temkin's research, it turns out that clients buying probability with a positive customer experience is 76% against 22% with those who have negative customer experience. Thus, we asked Kirillo to show the possible ways of how to improve it. So I'm pleased to turn the floor over to Kirillo. Hello, uh, thank you, Clip. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being with us today. Let's have a look at how you can automate email marketing and at the same time improve the customer experience with an example of typical trigger campaign to increase primary and cross sales. In any email campaign, we define the target audience and in order not to destroy the customer experience, we also must consider the following cases. If a contact has open a problem with our company, we shouldn't send them emails with new proposals because it can irritate them. If any uh, client has already bought the product, we should also exclude them from the target audience. And if any contact refused to buy a product in any channel, we no longer need to send them any email. This, has, uh, this will only aggravate the contract added to our company. Obviously, all the necessary data, data is collected only CRM. Since every email campaign is based on target list, it's logical to manage target lists in the CRM. Now let's move from the theory to practice and see how it can be implemented. Uh, here is standard target list uh, of Sugar CRM, which is easy to create. But uh, in order not to send messages to those who have an unresolved problem, we must exclude them from the target list whenever the service desk registers the case in the CRM system. And this is only one type of event that needs monitoring. Each campaign has its own list and the conditions could be based on different data. Anyone who has ever managed target list knows that to update triggers, uh, update a target list manually, taking uh, into account all required conditions is impossible. Uh, so you can easily do this if you use uh, a logic customization, customization, sorry, customization tool such as Logic Builder, uh, which allows uh, visual building uh, of uh, data processing scripts. Let's now see uh, how it looks like. So for our case, uh, to remove uh, contact from the target list when a uh, case created, uh, we need to start our logic flow <laughs> whenever the new case is created. Uh, for this, we use operators. Uh, that is called in data change, which will start the flow when uh, any uh, record in the specified model for our case, case uh, is saved. Uh, after this, uh, we use a logic operator that uh, will uh, check if this uh, case is new. Uh, uh, if the case is new, we need to take uh, the uh, linked uh, or related contact uh, for, for, from this case and we do it like this. 
and also we need our uh, target list. For this, we use uh, uh, we can uh, get it by its name. Tar target lists. So and with uh, block string, we can uh, specify the name for. Our case it's Wilson Gadget Promo. So we have the, the contact and the target list. The last thing we need to do is to unlink them. So link the target list and the contact. So as you can see, the creation of such logic takes only a couple of minutes. Let's check if the logic works. Let's go to our target list, uh, choose the first contact. And create new case. So let's get back to target list. And see that our contact clue is, <laughs> is removed from it. Uh, similar to this, uh, you can create any logic uh, to update target list based on any data from the CRM. Having an up-to-date uh, list, now we are ready to use the power of the email marketing system without fear of causing clients negative emotions. For this example, we use MailerLite as an email marketing service because it has powerful and flexible API which allows you to automatically synchronize data between uh, systems. Mm -hmm. The light allows easy setting up uh, uh, trigger campaigns and generating content. Let's have a look of an, of an example of creating a tr uh, typical trigger campaign in Milo Light. Uh, in the system, uh, the campaign will start when contact joins uh, the target list. And uh, MailerLite will immediately send the first letter uh, from the chain to this content. Next, it will wait for some time, uh, for example, three days. And here, depending on response, uh, we can control uh, the content of messages that will push uh, the contact to the purchase. And here it can be as many steps as you need. Uh, at the best case, uh, the customer will read first message and by the product, which means that we shouldn't send him uh, any messages. Uh, inf information about the purchase from uh, eShop will be displayed in the client profile in the CRM. And similar, similar to an open issue situation, we will exclude the contact and the campaign will be stopped for them. In worst, uh, at the worst, the client will uh, read the message and unsubscribe. This is a simple situation, since the mailing system itself will stop sending messages. But uh, what if the client calls us and uh, after a conversation about the product refuse the offer? In this case, uh, we also need to stop sending them emails. Let's see how to implement this. Let's go to target list, uh, uh, to back to the CRM, and to one contact call us, writes a chat. We find them through integration or through the quick search. So let's uh, search for normal. Uh, uh, for our contact and um, uh, immediately here uh, we see a history of important events including contact responses to the uh, marketing campaign. This allows salesperson to immediately get ready for any communication because here uh, they can see not only meetings calls but every event uh, even from external systems in chronological order. Uh, and uh, all details about the contact uh, are also here. If salesperson fortunately failed to persuade the contact to buy the product and the contact refuses, we should also stop sending messages in a marketing campaign. And uh, it's not di difficult to implement if uh, you add a special logic, for example, on logging a call. Uh, so, <clears throat> Let's log a call with uh, some specific subject, for example, uh, refuse uh, 
and name of our campaign. Uh, so if uh, saving this call uh, uh, would be enough for the system to automatically remove the contact from the list. Um, and uh, as you can see, if you refresh the dashlet, uh, it immediately showed uh, our um, events showed up on this timeline. Now let's move to target list and uh, make sure that contact is excluded. As you can see, Norma is uh, is not longer here. Uh, here we also have a dashlet which displays all key events, uh, but uh, of the target li at least participants. This will help marketing to see all key events from all departments. So, uh, what have we created? We create uh, a single and convenient environment for sales and marketing teams, which allows using emails as lead generating channel, using all data that is generated in all channels of communication with the client. Due to the fact that we automatically exclude the client from the target list, uh, if they have an open issue or have bought the product, we deliver better user experience. For this solution, we used Sugar CRM as a CRM system, MetaLite as a marketing automation system, uh, MetaLite Connectant for synchronizing data between systems, Logic Builder for building the logic without programming, and the Timeline Viewer to collect and display customer key events for sales and marketing team on the timeline. And typical question, uh, how much is it? As you can see, each component has its price, its own price, but it's just price. Remember that customers uh, with good customer experience are 50 more percent are likely to buy your product. Now, I would be glad to answer your questions. Thank you, Kirill. Uh, I received uh, a set of questions to you and I would be happy to hear your comments. Thank you, Vleb. <clears throat> yes, I can see first question. Can this solution work only with MetaLite or with other system of email automation marketing as well? Uh, yes, it could, but it depends on API of this email automation system. If a, sorry, API. If API gives uh, functions to manage campaign list uh, and segments, this solution will work too. Oh, the next question, uh, what events uh, can timeline viewer display uh, basically it could display any event timeline can collect uh, events from sugar database or from other system like render light uh, well, as a question uh, will be the customer put back on the target list after closing the case uh, yes it's possible to implement uh, but it of course depends on the campaign business logic uh, since different campaigns have uh, different rules and triggers um, that uh, could be changed even during the campaign, uh, we recommend using Logic Builder for creating such triggers. Okay, thank you, Kirill. <clears throat> we are almost done with our presentation, uh, so I just wanted a small remark. As usual, that uh, questions that weren't asked, uh, that weren't answered, uh, sorry, uh, during the presentation, uh, they will be processed later on and uh, will be sent out in the follow-up emails to their askers. Uh, so please, please do not forget to leave your feedback after uh, the webinar by filling in the uh, form after uh, this um, presentation. So uh, thank you for being with us today and you can always rely on our help. Have a good day and bye-bye.